The word of the day is pendiculation. And I had to look this one up because I started and I was like, what is that? I need more than just this little definition of it because it tells me that it's uh, stretching and stiffening, especially of the trunk and extremities, especially like after you wake up. And I'm like, what does that mean? Well, it literally means stretching and yawning and that, which is great. Um, now I understand what pendiculation is and it's probably a word I will never use again after this. But here's the point. What does pendiculation make me think of? And um, pendiculation makes me think of sleep. It makes me think of naps because it's literally the culmination of that whole wondrous event where you wake up after you've had a good rest. And naps specifically, well, it, it, naps are frustrating in a way for me because I'm not a good napper. I'm not an effective napper. It, what I mean by that is, is I don't nap well. I want to be a napper. I want to come home from a long day at work and lay down on the couch with a pillow behind my head and go to sleep. And for some reason, it just doesn't work for me. I can lay there with my eyes closed, curled up with a dog, and it doesn't matter. I'm not going to get any sleep. Naps for me seem to only come when it's completely spontaneous. Um, it's more of a narcoleptic event than it is anything else. It's like uh, if you're reading a book and you want to get through the chapter before you go to bed, and the next thing you know, you're still on the same page and you're looking at the same paragraph for the fifth time. You lost it somewhere in there. And I know that's what happens to me. And the only thing that keeps me from really losing my mind is I don't actually look at the clock when that happens. So I don't know how much time I've lost. I just know something's wrong. It also happens to me when I'm binge watching. I have a three episode rule when I'm binging a show during the week while I'm working because I don't want to be up until 4 a.m. watching a show no matter how good it is. So I will stop at three episodes. And occasionally, if it's been a long enough day and it's after nine o'clock or 10 o'clock and I am trying to get the most out of this program, then I will suddenly experience a pendiculation moment as I awaken and realize I just missed something really important. And I don't know what it was, how much of it it was, where it was. Was it five minutes? Was it five episodes? What, what time is it even? I... The, the spontaneous event is the thing that gets me every time, and it's just so frustrating. But it, it, spontaneous sleep is a thing that I've had to deal with more times than I would like to kind of admit sometimes. I used to work shift work when I was active duty in the Air Force. I worked out at Trever Air Force Base, and when you're working 12-hour shifts, 7 o'clock in the evening until 7 o'clock in the morning is a painful amount of time to have to be awake and alert and a painful amount of coffee goes through your system in order to stay awake and alert for 12 hours across that time frame. And you never get right on or right off. You have to be there early for shift change and be there late to make sure they know what's going on. So it usually comes closer to 13 and a half hours by the time you get back home. Well, one day I was driving home from a mid shift and I realized that I recall getting into my car and I recall leaving the parking lot. And then I recall parking in front of my apartment building. I do not, however, recall anything that happened in the intervening period, which is a very long drive on Highway 94, which is kind of a deadly road for people anyway, because a lot of a shift workers drive on this thing and occasionally sort of go off the rails because we fell asleep in the car. But I'm not sure I was actually asleep. I think I had just gone on autopilot and checked out for a while. And it being the time that it was and nobody else coming back, and I think it was on a Saturday because it was no real traffic, or I'm sure I would have been in a lot more trouble than I was. All right, um, that's it. That's where I go with pendiculation. What an incredible word. Hello and thank you for coming and watching my video and sitting through the whole thing to the end. Now I have a little ask, one tiny little ask of you. Down on the right hand corner of your screen, there are three buttons. You have three options. You can like this thing with a thumbs up. You can subscribe to the channel so that you'll know what's going on and that helps me get analytics and figure out what's working and what isn't working. Or you can share it if there's something that makes sense to you or something that just struck you and it's something that you want to share. All right. Thanks again. Take care of yourselves, guys. I know social distancing is tough. I know the whole pandemic thing is really brutal on all of us. Just be safe, take care of yourself, and come out healthy at the end of this.